Hi, this is Mark Sabatella. I'm the Director of Education for MuseScore, and today I want to show you a little bit about using MuseScore on an interactive whiteboard, like this one here. Um, so, with MuseScore, the normal interface is designed for, you know, people, uh, uh, adults. But if we want to use MuseScore with elementary school children, it's nice to have the interface be a little friendlier. So one thing you might want to do is install the Music Ed extension uh, that I have made available. When you do that, you get the Young Musicians workspace, and now it's a, a more Young Musician friendly, and it's also a little more smart board friendly, or interactive whiteboard. Um, so the piano keyboard here is going to be our best way of entering notes into MuseScore. Um, so what I can do is uh, tap the measure, note input, and now I can select durations and play notes in. So if I do this, I can half note, G, quarter note, A. Well, if I don't want to have so much exercise of jumping around like that, I can actually bring that toolbar over. On this board, I found that the stylus uh, works the best. So. Now it'll be a little bit easier. So I can put in a little slot. I can more easily now pick uh, my duration, my note, duration, note, note, duration, note, and so forth. And um, so most of the features in MuseScore will work pretty well with the touch screen, including the palettes, including everything else. Um, so, uh, I, I find that once I figured out how to do note entry, because uh, I struggled a bit trying to just tap onto the, the staff, it's hard to get accurate enough, but the keyboard was a really nice way of doing that. And, um, and then when you're done, you can get yourself out of note input mode, select a note, and use the playback controls, and do all the sorts of things that you would normally do with MuseScore. So that's a little bit about how to use MuseScore on an interactive whiteboard.